The State Minister for Investment, Evelyn Anite, also directed the conservation body, the National Environment Management Authority, to ensure no industrial park is set up in the wetlands, adding that all industrial parks will now have the aspect of green cover as a way of preserving the environment and mitigating climate change effects. We did a lot of deforestation and gazetted this an industrial park. We have had to re-strategize because the issues or challenges of climate change are real. So we have had to reduce the 2,200 acres by 800 acres and uh, that we no longer have and we call them green belts and we call them preserved wetlands. In support of the initiative for a green belt, Roofing's group also announced a campaign to plant 2 million trees in the next six years. Since we started, we have given out about 1.5 million to various entities, including NGOs, churches, the prisons, the police, the army, and other organized entities. We want to see every manufacturer who is investing in the Kampala Industrial and Business Park ensure that the environment they are operating in is well preserved. We cannot have industrialization minus sustainable management of natural resources. And so it's imperative that we are starting this journey. The environment watchdog, NEMA, has had run-ins with investors who have been setting up factories in wetlands or gazetted forest areas. All eyes are on them to see if the new directive will bring sanity in environmental management and preservation. Rachel Nabisubi, NTV Business.